so I'm going to be doing an unboxing video on the Umbra case. Yay! I know it looks like it's already unboxed, but it's not. This is how it comes. Um, but it has this on it. But I took it off because it was hard to get off. This thing right here that lets it hang. But except this is all folded up, so. Um, yeah. But, so this is basically how it comes. I found this at Marks for 99 cents. Or my mom did. <clears throat> Great deal. So, I am going to show you an unboxing upon this. And, I was updating my Java. <laughs> so, okay. So, to do this, you just simply pull this. See, it's bungee. It comes off. You slide this out. Oops. And it has their other case products. They have iPod Nano, Classic, Touch. And they have the new 4G Nano and the older one. They have three cases right now because this case is for the iPod Touch 1G, not 2G. I have a 2G. I do not have a 1G. But I can still use this case. I have tried it. So this isn't really a, my first unboxing, but, you know. I just got this last night. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I didn't think about it. See, this is a rather old case. Like, you can see that all they had was Safari, YouTube, calendar, um, contacts, clock, calculator, and settings. There's no App Store or Maps, anything like that. Um, yeah. And the instructions that fill out on the floor show you how to use the stand and how to install this this right here that I already installed because it's kind of hard to install. It, it's time consuming, so I didn't want to do it in my video. Um, yeah, the inside of this case is very felty and soft, and so are on the inside edges. And if you look at this, that right there is a quarter inch, quarter inch of protective space. On either side. I mean, a quarter inch of protective space on either side. That's just like a mammoth. And there's also a quarter inch in the very bottom. There's these ridges that help keep the iPod up about that much. So, I mean, that is just insane. The top is probably the, the top is probably the least most protective part. The back it's about that thick. So, um, yeah. So. To install this case, you simply just pull this out, set it behind it. I'm going to try to hurry because my last video went over 10 minutes, so I had to redo this video. Um, pop off my case, my Metro I'm using currently. My Metro. And I just did a video giveaway video. And you just slide it in. It does not fit perfectly because this is my iPod Touch 1G and it does not fit the same as the one at the, you know, my iPod Touch 2G it does not fit the same as a 1G but besides that so home button good space for it feels good but just with the 2G there's it's not perfectly centered but it is with the 1G headphone jack can't really touch it well you kind of can but you don't need to um, little spot there is no dock which kind of stinks like, there's no, um, like, here, there's a place that you can plug it in where the case is on, but, yeah. And there's no volume rocker space, because it is a 1G, and the 1G did not have that. So, um, yeah. And the one other feature that I like probably the most is this. If you can see right there, there's a little space you can get your finger under. You can also pull this up and go like that, but I think it's... This is easy to just simply do this. So you do that, and it only comes out this much, but you can set your iPod up like this, and it just stays there. And let's see, I'll turn on a movie. Um, turn on Iron Man. Okay, so it is playing, and to change the volume, since you can't use the volume record, you just simply double tap and you can change the volume. And you can also pause for some reason. I don't understand how to have that. So there it is. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. Um, so that is a stand, which I really like. I think you actually could possibly do it, like... No, it doesn't work that way. The base is too big. But you could almost get away with doing this. That would be kind of neat, but whatever. So, um, overall, it does make it a tad bit bulky because of the sides and stuff. But great protection. You can use it with your 2G um, if you want to. Um, that comes with a strap, which I think is nice. I would rather have maybe a little shorter strap, but you can always put in your own because it has a little space that most straps have the attached to. Um, it covers your headphone jack, or it covers your, um, the end of your headphones. It covers them up, like, up to, like, here. Like, there's only, like, that much sticking out. So it's protective for your headphones. Um, overall, I would say this is a great case. You can use it with your 1G if you want to. You can use it with your 2G. It would be better, obviously, because you don't have to worry about the volume rocker problem. That's the only problem I have with this case, really, because I don't need to. I don't worry about bulkiness. Bulkiness. Um, that's not really that much of a problem for me. It does kind of feel a little bit awkward sometimes, but you know, it does help it like if you're playing like tap tap. Because if, you, if you've ever played that, if you play that enough, your fingers get all cramped because you're, like, holding on to this little itty bitty thing. <laughs> that was some random thing. It covers the entire case. It does not fully cover here and here because I have a 2G. It would fully cover if it was a 1G. Um, because I've had a 1G in this, but I didn't have it here. So, it is the Umbra, Umbra Bungie. For the touch. They do not sell this anymore. So if you can find one somewhere you're special and you might as well buy it. Because it's a pretty nice case. Um. Yeah. I would overall. I would probably purchase this. Especially for only 99 cents. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. On this. And I need to hurry up. Um. So there may be a giveaway in the future. I did my unboxing and my review here. Um. Because this is my real unboxing, but I thought I might as well just, you know, whatever. Um, so, it comes with this little thing, this thing, the strap. These are all inside of this, in the case. Um, I love this case, basically. I mean, I love it for the thing, the stand, which I would have on this case, except they gave me the wrong case model. If you've been following my videos, you would know that. Um... If you've seen it on my unboxing videos, especially my second one. So, uh, yeah, that is all I have to say. Great case, maybe a review. Um, yeah.